Hi guys. So right, I'm going to try and walk you through some of the uh, walk you through. I'm going to talk and uh, show you some of the uh, the stuff for the uh, Arduino and the el basic electronics for the uh, dyno. So I've got a bag full of here of electronics. So I'll just dig out what I've got. Obviously, that's an extension for the uh, USB. Uh, this is the microcontroller itself. It's called an uh, Arduino uh, Uno. Um, Unos are used uh, for a lot, a lot of applications. I mean, you can get them to do pretty much anything. You can get them to turn on lights, turn on and off. I mean, you can get them to do loads of things. But all you've got to do is put your own program in. Uh, there's available stuff online. It's a real hobbyist thing. Yeah, uh, Arduino Unos are used for a lot of uh, YouTubers use them. I've seen um, a guy called Dude No Computer use them. I've seen Colin Fuzz use them. And, and they used to do a lot of things. I mean, you can program it to become a timer. Uh, you can program it to do, you know, anything you want. It that's what it is. It's a microcontroller. You can get it to, you know, run all sorts of applications. But the software I got uses this and another method. But I won't, I won't bog down you with loads of information. But this is a RPM pickup sensor. So basically, what this is going to do at the moment is just an RPM sensor pickup. So that's all it does. And the wiring off here is one wire, and um, the sensor's got to have a 5 volt feed, and it sends a, a signal at 5 volts down it, and it, it works out math and calculations and all that through the dyno, the uh, rotating mass, um, and everything else, and does all the math equation, equations and everything else. That is good enough if you just want something to do your top speed, your BHP figures, and your torque figures. But I want to be able to do a little bit more. So um, when researching on doing this, this DIY style dyno um, and the software that was available, there was a guy on YouTube called Two, Two Truck Stuffing that had, had real good success and he made his own uh, shield, which is a, a pickup board, an extra board that runs off this, this piece of software, off this piece of software and hardware. So he, I won't take any credit for any of his work. Um, he, Alex over at Two Truck Stuffing was good enough to give me the plans and I had to have a job lot of these made. Um, what this basically does is, if you look on, look actually on the sensor itself, it says roller, hall sensor, uh, hall RPM, cap RPM, and roller. So basically, it's pretty self-explanatory. Cap RPM is your spark. So it will take you, you, you attach a little clamp, um, like one of these fellas, one on the earth for the bike, which is the earth, and the signal wire goes straight to your spark plug. You're meant to wrap like a couple wire around and then to that. And what it'll do is that'll pick up a spark signal and that will work out, calculate into RPM on your on your dyno. So your dyno will then be able to run your engine RPM. The whole RPM is actually an RPM sensor that's already on your bike. So if your bike's got a cam sensor or a digital crank sensor or it's an ignition, uh, like a, a, an injection bike, it will run a whole RPM. So you can actually piggyback off that to run or you can make up your own RPM. Say if you've got like something with a carb, you could put a pickup on the uh, generator or any part of the flywheel to pick up your own RPM sensor. The roller, obviously, is the roller for the dyno. So this, this little board's going to pick up your RPM sensor from your roller. Um, there is an option on this roller to, on this software, to run two RPM sensors. So it, at the minute, this is a bike dyno, but if you were actually, you could use this application for a car dyno and you could uh, run two twin RPM sensors. Uh, one for each side because it, you know it's going to be a car. Uh, they like you can put both wheels and two rollers, and it calculate off two RPM sensors. Um, all of the hardware for this is, I mean, I had to buy it in job lot. So the 555 sensor, it's got everything on this board. It's, it tells you exactly where all the components go and what they're called and everything else. So it's, I mean, I'm no electronic wizard, but at the end of the day, it's pretty, it's pretty simple. So there's an LED. It says if you look on it, it's got all of the uh, all of the all the components are listed and what they are and what they're called and what you know voltage and everything else. So that explains everything on this side of the board. On this side of the board, you've got another one, two, three, four, five breakout boards, and these breakout boards are going to be used for uh, oil pressure temp, uh, you know, water temp, um, you know, air fuel ratio. You could take a, a piggyback breakout board and run your air fuel ratios, and this will all run through the same software and the same. You know, Dino and FNAS and all the software you got, so you'll be able to not only are you able now just to read RPM, but you're also able to check your air fuel ratios, check that you're not overheating. Uh, you, you know, when you're dialing in timing and stuff like that, you'll be able to check if it's getting hotter. So, this is going to do a hundred times more. You have to do a hundred times more with this board, with this, and your eye else. Um, I've got a limited supply left of these. Well, I've got, a, I've had to make a lot of them, and I've, I've had to make a job lot of them, and I've got some of these available. So, if anybody is interested in a, a dyno shield for a, a, an Arduino board to run all this setup. Um, 
I'll sell them to subscribers and you can have them for a, a tenner posted anywhere in the world. So hit me up if you want a uh, Arduino shield and um, yeah, I've got, I've got a few locking around. Um, regarding the wire and everything else, the best thing I could find was through some, I needed a free core wire and the best thing I could find was audio jack cable. It's already shielded, um, which is a plus and it was readily available and cheap. So this is what's going to run the wiring from the you know the PC or, or and the Arduino to the roller itself so that was the best one there when we put mix bike in I had an issue where uh, every other bike was fine on it when we tested it but the second we put mix bike on it the interference on the bike from it must be like you know it's called background noise and stuff like that. you know when you used to have a car back in the day and you turn the radio on and you could hear the suppressor you, you sorry excuse me you meant to have a suppressor to um, hide the noise like the background noise from the engine and stuff um, so I picked up it's somewhere in amongst this crap in here. Where is it gone? Here it is. So this is this is an audio jack cable ground loop. So basically, this is to try and eliminate any background noise or interference that the RPM sensor is getting. Because when we plugged it in before, it was fine on one bike, and then we plugged mix in, and all we got was like, like I say, was it was interfering with the the, the, the results on us on the on the dyno. Um, it was throwing all the signal all over the place. So hopefully, uh, with this fitted, we're going to be able to get rid of all of our background noise. So that was a couple of quid. Um, this is the bracket that goes on the dyno. Uh, it was made up out of some scrap we had locking around. It's made from like a hard PVC plastic. I thought using plastic was probably the best way of trying to eliminate a, um, you know, a noise or any sort of background uh, noise from uh, any of the other components. Um, this is a rough wire of what I've made up. Uh, somehow it's got a charger cable wired in. Oh God knows now. Um, the sensor runs off five volts, as does anything on the um, the Arduino. They have to take a five volt signal. Um, so basically, the best thing that's five volts is USB. <laughs> so like battery chargers, stuff like that. So we've got this wired up roughly, so we can just literally click this into the back of the PC. It takes a five volt supply, and then every time it reaches a signal, it flashes it. This is a cheap you know eBay special uh, hall, uh, pickup sensor hall sensor you could probably use a proper Bosch one and get a proper of results and as Alex did explain on two stroke stuff in that a um, you know he, he named the proper brand of what sensor he's using on his and he had lots and they were very robust and very good gifts results but I've had it working off this so uh, I'm going to carry on using that um, as for other stuff I've got this um, it's uh, a cheap uh, you know Standalone LCD screen that's going to go on the end end of the dyno, and if I've got car, um, if I've got car, if I've got a bike on it that's uh, unable to take a a, um, a temperature reading or anything else, I can actually use this to run the uh, oil pressure and the uh, engine temperature and water temp. Uh, completely standalone from the uh, Arduino. Um, so yeah, uh, I just bought that because it was cheap and uh, you know it was readily available. I've also in here got another job lot of uh, sensors and pickups and oil pressure sensors and stuff like that they were all cheap so um, they're going to help us out when we come to wiring in the uh, rest of the stuff on the on the uh, Arduino board so um, well I'm going to build up most of it and then uh, I'll show you the rest of the software that goes with this ciao for now right this is our, uh, it's our software and it's a, it's a system called Simple Dino. Uh, so I'm just going to put my screen here, and if I go to this little icon, I'll show at the bottom of the screen. Uh, it was done by a guy called Demo RC. Uh, I don't know him personally, but the, uh, the software is available free online. Um, so if I go to what do I want on here, I want to go to Show. I think where the hell is it? It's been a while since I've been on here. Uh, labels. Uh, do I go to Dino? No, that's how I set it up. Oh, while I've got this screen up, I'll show you. So basically, um, this is how you calibrate and set your dyno up. You don't, these are non-critical parameters, so you don't need to put these in. So these ones here aren't really necessary, but these ones are the critical ones. So it's going to want to know your, your roller uh, millimetres. So it's going to want to know things. It's going to want to know the wall thickness. It's going to want to know the mass. So it's going to know how heavy it is in kg. Uh, it's going to know uh, how heavy your axle diameter is. So that's how fat your axle is. Your axle mass, it'll want your, the weight of your axle. Um, any end cap mass or any extra mass so if you've got stuff that like a, like an extra flywheel or a sprocket that runs something else you're going to need to it needs to know that 
uh, any extra mass and then you've got uh, signals RPM1 and RPM2 so let's say if you're running just a single dyno like we are like a single, single roller you only need one but if you're running for a car dyno you need two uh, so yeah that's the basically how to calibrate the actual roller itself um, I've got to go remember what thing I think it's load that's it so I've got to go into my load and then I come up here and I've got dyno screen setting so I just uh, select that and that's it so that's my uh, that's my basic setup and you can modify and change this however you want but this is how I've got my screen set out um, if you go into you go into your labels and dials and you can change all sorts so I go into gauge and I can put another gauge up here and change it and all sorts so you know you can come in and you can change all your parameters so uh, I can come in and change this to BHP or uh, Talk, uh, power, actually, you can actually have uh, minimum power. So if I do a power run, it will show me the minimum figure, or I can do a maximum figure. So if I do a maximum power, it will show me the maximum power or actuate. So it will just be like live. Um, so if I'm doing a power run, I can it will show me the data real time as fast as it possibly can. So yeah, that's the basic layout. I've got it calibrated now to a maximum of 100 bhp and a maximum 100 torque, but you can change it to a thousand if you wanted to. Mm. I've got a cup of coffee. Mm. Okay, I've got to remember how to ask it. You double click on it and it will, double click on the icon and it will remove. Um, you can change the colour of the background, change the colour of the, um, the actual labels and dials. You can actually have uh, this dial, so I've got it set up, so I've got max BHP. This is the RPM uh, of the roller, so it tells me. And believe it or not, when this thing is doing, well, when we calculated that dirt bike and it was doing 70 miles per hour, the actual RPM of the actual roller was uh, 700 RPM, which I was shocked at. I was, I was actually shocked how, how low an RPM that was. Um, and I calculated that that rolling mass is calibrated, well, it's safe working spinning diameter before when it was actually in a motor. Uh, was nearly 1800 um, and I reckon it'll probably do nearly close to you know 2000, 2500 without any trouble so uh, we could easily do over a you know 100 mile an hour, 150 mile an hour on that and not even have to worry about it. Uh, so I've got it set up for torque, uh, max uh, horsepower and max speed and then there's another, this isn't the RPM for the wheel for the thing so we will while we were calibrating it. Down here in these things so I've got it set to Comport which is the Arduino, but you can actually run this software uh, via an audio cable, so you can actually run it with a pair of headphones. It, I won't go into details because it, it's beyond the scope of my actual uh, knowing. You'd have to read up on it, but when you download this software, it actually comes with a manual online, so you can just sit there and read it, and that's exactly what I had to do. I didn't know how to use any of this software. I didn't know how to connect it to anything. I had to sit there and just sit there and read it for like a week, and then, oh, that didn't make sense, so I read it up again, then I read it again, and then I had to like Google and find out what does what. Um, this is the um, the brawl sent in, or, or something similar to that. So what that does is that's what the uh, Arduino is programmed to do. So it's running at 19,200 uh, brawl rate. So if I I can go in there and adjust the brawl rate, and the faster you have the brawl rate, the more information it can carry. Uh, I set it at mid rate because I didn't know the. I, I thought if I set it up into a mid range uh, scope that. I'd get it working and if I needed to tweak it I'd go back but when you're programming your Arduino if you follow your software it actually says uh, what brawl rate you want to put in so you can literally put in any brawl rate you want but the next Arduino I'm programming with the uh, PU Arduino on will be running at 1340 because this software had a this computer is more set up for it is a gaming PC uh, I wanted something with a lot of uh, you know memory and, and, and RAM so that it, it run real time and really quick so uh, yeah uh, I thought I'd show you basically the software and, and this is all free, it's available online, um, like I say, um, any of you guys want to contact me for a uh, piggyback for the Arduino, I can, I can help you out with that as well. Um, so yeah, I thought I'd give you a basic scope of the uh, software, uh, it's running off a basic PC, um, and you can run this off a laptop or whatever you wanted to, you can even run it off a micro PC, I've seen a guy online do it on a, uh, like a tiny little PC box about that big. Uh, and then just run it through. We're running it through the big screen because I didn't want to be squinting to look at it when uh, we were on the dyno. Not only that, everyone will come running up to the screen the second you've done a power run, won't they? So I thought if I've got it nice and big on the wall, it's uh, everyone in the whole room can all enjoy it. Uh, you know, we we start using this thing. So. Um,
I'm going to set the GoPro, uh, the, the, the tripod up now because I've got a lot of work I get doing. As much as I like talking, uh, I've actually got to do some work today. So uh, I'll catch you up at the end of the uh, video once uh, we've got something on here and it, and it's uh, it's being used.